So it completely slipped my mind to film in the store, but I will do a quick grocery haul. I got one gallon of water. I like to have these on deck for drinking water, obviously. Some large tortillas, bananas. I got salt, buttery crackers, saltines, and I got bone broth. Some eggs, salami trio. I had to go get another battery, but my second battery because my other one died. And the last thing I got is some chicken thighs, you guys. I'm gonna remake that Peruvian chicken one of these days coming up because that recipe was fire. Like, I'm not kidding. That's the best chicken we've had in a long time. And y'all know, I be cooking. So, if I'm saying it's good, just know it's good. So, I'm gonna put these groceries away. I did a bulk of our grocery shopping a day or two ago, and then we had some specific items. You guys know, shopping around, getting the best prices, involves going to multiple stores. So, I have been slacking on my protein intake. Like, post-workout smoothies have just not been a priority for me. When it gets cold, like I don't want a cold smoothie. I just don't. So I cooked up some breakfast sausage yesterday. I'm gonna scramble a couple of eggs and we're gonna make a breakfast wrap. Super quick breakfast wrap. You're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need some kind of shredded cheese and then also a little bit of mozzarella. So I do both cheeses and I really love the way that tastes. I'm just gonna scramble a couple of eggs. Then I just have some breakfast sausage that I cooked up yesterday. So I'm gonna add in some salsa, which I was missing yesterday and it's a key component to like the flavor profile. And then one thing I did wanna show you guys that I've been having um, every single day, every morning with my breakfast, I've been having this Uncle Matt's Organic Ultimate Defense Orange Pineapple and Ginger Juice, you guys. This is really, really good for immunity, of course, because of the vitamin C, and it's got a ginger in it. It's really, really subtle. If you like ginger and used to ginger shots, this is way more milder than that, but it actually tastes really, really good. So I, there's no added sugar, so all the sugar comes from, you know, the fruit naturally. And there's even turmeric. I knew I tasted turmeric in here. So if you have this at your local grocery store, it is pretty expensive in my opinion for what it is, but if you catch it on a sale or, you know, if you want to have it just a few times a week, I do think it's worth it, and I'd love the flavor. Got cold, so I put my freaking uh, robe on. I don't want to dirty up a dish, so I'm just gonna spray that quickly. I recommend adding the cheese on when the eggs are still in the pan because they're gonna be warm. It's gonna help it to get nice. Oh my goodness, that looks like mold. There's mold in my uh, mozzarella, so I'm gonna remove all the bits of egg that have touched the moldy mozzarella. It's all good in the head. So I'm just gonna use a Colby jar to the key to wrapping a successful burrito, which I've discovered more recently, warming it up. Warming up the fibers in the tortilla really do help make it easier to fold it without it breaking. Sage. This is also really good with like a low sodium bacon, if you like turkey bacon. So you guys, just I just love the freshness of cilantro, you guys already know. Also a key to good burritos is not overstuffing them. Personally love to serve my breakfast wrap with a side of fruit. You can see how yummy and fluffy the eggs look. I'm glad I added in that cilantro for a pop of color. And then I have one golden kiwi, which we haven't gotten for a while, but I saw them at the store and picked them up. And of course I got my cup of Uncle Matt's immunity orange juice. So super tasty. And I'm honestly about to crush this because this is just like chef's kiss. And I do like to have it with sour cream as well. So you can actually put this in the wrap, but I kind of like to dip it in sour cream versus putting it inside the wrap because when the wrap gets too wet, it just isn't a good combo. So. One fifty right now, I'm about to go to Duncan and get a coffee for my mom and I. It is just that time of the day. I'm dragging. It's something that I'm dragging, but I'm feeling tired. I don't want to take a nap. I've been napping quite a bit, as you've probably noticed from my vlogs, which is fine. But I really need to get some editing done. So I'm going to go grab some coffees. And then if I have lunch, I'll show you guys what I end up having. 
these mats like i'm gonna need y'all to get it together and stop being here if y'all gonna be here i'm gonna need y'all to buck up and pay some rent pay some bills okay anyway yeah so i'm gonna grab that i've literally just been chilling you guys sipping my water editing i did some voiceover stuff um i haven't eaten since that breakfast which was pretty filling you guys i'm actually not that hungry just yet but i'm sure in a couple of hours i'll be hungry now i just need to get to the store because i'm having this procrastination where i'm just living literally sitting there waiting for something to do and it's like i have things to do so why am i not doing them anyway. my go-to is some kind of caramel coffee with the cream and sugar at duncan and it's just this you also it is really really nice outside like i think it's in the 70s so i'm gonna open my window get some editing done and i'll probably try and go on a walk too this is what i needed so let's actually get some editing done crackers here as a snack these are cream cheese and chive i absolutely love these and then i just grabbed a small banana from the bananas i bought this morning and i'm also going to snack on <laughs> Tonight for dinner, it's basically going to be a fridge clean out. We have a bunch of leftovers to eat up, so I'm going to pull some of that out now. I am going to bake the rest of the chicken. I baked half yesterday. I'm going to bake the other half today as well, but I want to pull out all of our leftovers, all of our sides, and see what we're working with and get that together while the chicken bakes. I haven't put it in the oven yet. The oven is preheating. <laughs> to make a cup of tea you guys this has been my favorite tea lately we get this every year around this time and keep it through the winter for those immune function it's really really good i've been having about a cup a day of this or of pure peppermint this is my favorite brand of the peppermint tea so this is what i'm having for dinner all leftovers I will say if you guys have this brand close to your house at a grocery store this in my opinion is the best microwavable rice it just heats up really easily and it actually tastes really good so that's what i have the rest of this basmati rice i've got some leftover asparagus leftover corn on the cob and this is the chicken i baked tonight and of course the rice super delicious super tasty <laughs> 